so hello to everyone uh, i am piyush here for the first time on youtube uh, today i am going to start a tutorial for open cv which is an important concept of machine learning in this tutorial i will teach you the basic concepts of open cv library of python at the end of this series you will be able to play with open cv and image building in machine learning and it's my promise to you all so and uh, before starting this uh, playlist uh, there is a one disclaimer for you all uh, that if uh, anyone of you think that uh, you should learn python before learning opencv uh, then uh, let me clear you guys if you don't aware about python language then don't worry in the opencv it will use only the print function and in the basic python concept so if you don't know just go and read some basic concepts of python like print inputting variables and all and if you don't want to go there then i promise you uh, you will not going to face any problem here i will teach you i will tell you about what i am what i will be going to use so without waiting wasting a lot of time let's start with our introductory video today about open cv and image formation so before starting hit the like and subscribe button if you like it and if you don't want to miss any video of this playlist hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so let's go for this so to learn the python uh, and the open cv and machine learning firstly we need the python language installed in our system so uh, i am not going to tell you about how to install the python language in the system or how to set up the environment you all are aware that how to install the new language in the system i hope so and if you don't then just go and check it out on the google so now uh, we need an ide to play uh, to write some code and to perform the execution of open cv so uh, for this playlist i am going to use the jupyter notebook and i will suggest you everyone that you should also use jupyter notebook because it is a very easy and a very comfortable ide to use so to, for this you need to install the jupyter uh, notebook in your environment system and then you can just open it on the browser i have installed the jupyter notebook here if you open this this will open the window like this and i have created a new folder uh, a new file of python there is first ipynv okay you can uh, make a new file from here new and then there is python3 it will open a new file uh, with the python3 and here you can write the code okay so let's today we will start today we will know that what are the some basic concepts of open cv and what are this so first of all i want to tell you that what exactly is open cv uh the open cv is officially launched in 1999 its full form is open source computer vision from an intel initiative uh open cv is written in c++ first major release uh, 1.0 was in 2006 second in 2009 and third in 2015 open cv 2.4 or something is the latest one you can check it out on google platform so uh, let's start with our program first of all we would know that what are images so that images are the two dimensional representation of the visible light spectrum and we can form the image and the image can be formed by the reflection of the light uh, we learned it in the physics book and all so uh, the first basic question arises in our mind that how do computers store images so uh, open cv uses rbg color space rbg is red blue green green color space by default each pixel coordinate that is x and y contains three values ranging from intensities of 0 to 255 that is 8 bit for red blue and green 
for red it will be 0, 0, 0,0,255 green it is 0, 0,255,0 blue that is 255,0,0 by the combination of these three colors we can make a lots of colors different different types of shapes so let's start with our open cv environment today so uh, for this let me clear this all so that i can start from scratch okay let me clear this i will cut this 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 okay so now Firstly, to start the OpenCV, we must have to install in our system that is open that some of the libraries. That number one is NumPy, second one is uh, NumPy OpenCV, the third one is Pandas. Uh, let me tell you that how to install this. First of all, go and search for the command prompt. Go in your command prompt and just simple write pip install pandas. It will take some time based on your uh, system. So here in my system, the pandas is already installed, so it will it is showing that requirements already satisfied. So, uh, if you want to let pip install pandas numpy and opencv, these three these three libraries you must have to install. And if you don't want these to install separately, then just go and install the anaconda in your system. It will automatically install the some basic libraries of Python so that you can import it and use it here so now firstly uh, we have to import some libraries here we first in this tutorial we know that how to store the images and how to read write image and display it on the computer system okay so firstly we will import the opencv for this we will use the import cv2 to run this to check that this is correct or not press control and enter it will take time and yes it's execute to make a new line you can use alt plus enter it will importantly import the new line now let's import numpy import numpy we use uh, as np so that everything we call on numpy we can type np instead of numpy for it looks short and looks neater so now let's start and now uh, we will just let's now load our first image here okay we have imported the cv2 so to load the image using I am we use the I am read function in the open CV that is I am read firstly we will input take a input from the user we write the function input and here we are using the input as a variable that is input image we call it input image is equal to that is CV2 dot and here I will go that these are some of the CV2 functions modules uh, methods that is pre installed in the CV2. Uh, we use here that is I am read and we pass the path of the URL where we want to which image we want to show here. So just go in your windows where your images are there ok so here are my images I guess let me check yes these are my images so we will show this my data 
we will show the image that is let's take this group 3 here you can copy the path open Jupyter and just paste it here so our file group 3.jpg is now loaded and stored in python as a variable named in input image So input image. Uh, now uh, the image is stored and press L plus enter. And now it is loaded in our, our first image. So to display our image, uh, image variable, we use I am show. We use I am show. A cv2 dot I am show. And the first parameter will be the title shown on the image. The first parameter will be the title. And the second parameter is the image variable. Variable. That in which in that variable we store the image. So first we want the title here. Title is uh, the first image. And our image variable is the input image. That is this one. Input image. Just put it input image and press and press enter. Okay. So now we will uh, we have loaded our image and now uh, to we use one another function that is wait key the wait key allows us to input information when an image window is open by leaving it blank it just waits for any key to be pressed before continuing by placing numbers except zero we can specify a delay for how long you keep the window open okay so just implement it here that is cv2 dot wait key if we, if we leave it as blank, it just waits for any key to be pressed before continues. We have to uh, we have to tell the computer that when we want to uh, close our image. Okay, so now we have used the wait key, and now this closes. Now we use that is cv2 dot destroy. Let's press the tab destroy all windows. This function will just closes all the open windows whenever we press any key from our keyboard ok so now all our code is written now press control plus enter to execute this code it is control plus enter and here it is our image is now being shown this is our image yeah we got it so let's examine what we have written here Firstly, we have lo we load our image that is first image that is group 3.jpg. Then we use image show that is I am show. The first parameter is a title and the title is first image. And here is the title is first image. Then we pass uh, the variable in which we have stored the image input key and then there is cv2 dot wait key. Now the wait key allows us to hold the image window. Now if we press any key from our window that suppose I have pressed the H, it will automatically destroy it. Now uh, press Ctrl Enter, again it is, I will press P, destroy it. Ctrl Enter, if I close this, it will destroy it. Now uh, let's check this with another image. Let's open it and, uh, and that is hand. It is mail 6.jpg or we can use slip. Uh, look at this. That is mail 5.jpg. Here, yeah, that is mail 5. Now, 
control enter from here control enter here it is you have got Donald Trump here <laughs> nice one you got it done okay we got Donald Trump that's it now uh, that we have stored all this here now if you want to uh, know if you want to know that how this computer how the computer stored this image then we know that we will print that is print in input image dot shape it will tell us that what is the shape of our image that is 168 comma 300 comma 3 the two d dimensions are that is 168 pixels 168 pixels in height 300 pixels wide and the last three means that it has three components that is RGB that makes up this image okay so that's it from this very first tutorial that is basics of open CV here we have learned that how we store our image in the computer system and how can we display it to the, the environment if you want to see this you want to this uh, source code the link of the my github profile is in the description box check that practice practice for this if you like this video then don't forget to like hit the like button and subscribe my channel for the next upcoming video of OpenSea. thank you happy coding